fellow YouTubers. We are about to hit some biceps today. A little bit of forearms. Girls for the girls. Girls for the girls. Sun's out, guns out. That's right. Okay, baby. Stay tuned. So right here I'm warming up with some alternating bicep curls. I start with the soup nation out and I alternate them to hammer curls. So I'm also getting some forearm action in there too. Okay, so after our warm up, we're gonna be doing the same thing, dumbbell curls, and our regimen will uh, still be the same. We're gonna be doing four sets, and every set, we're gonna go up in weight and decrease the rep range. Especially for the dumbbell curls, I love doing that negative contraction on the way down to, you know, really break down those muscle fibers. Doing negatives really helps me get into that mind to muscle connection. If you think about it, when you're doing a negative going down, your biceps are already crunched up into a ball. All that muscle is overlapping each other right there. So it takes a lot more weight to bring that arm down, which therefore makes some growth. And on to our next exercise, we're doing concentration curls. See, what I can do is I like to rest my elbow onto my, my thigh and then from there I'll start curling up. Yeah, my boy Ryan, he was uh, he was pushing it pretty hard that day and in result, somehow he got a bloody nose. That's when you know when you put in work. Okay, enough of that. So, this is my favorite workout actually. It's called the drag curl. It actually concentrates on building that peak on your bicep. See, you can't really cheat on these. You can't swing your shoulders, you can't you know, swing your back. It's all isolated on that peak on your bicep. The movement is very easy. You're just dragging against your body. Hints, drag curl. Then of course we got those preacher curls in too. These are really good when you want to stretch that bicep. We did alternating grips. We started off with wide and then our next set will be closer. So we go back and forth. The reason why we do alternating grips is to hit every angle of that bicep. But it's not over yet. Immediately after this, we're going to drop set it to an alternating grip and rip that out to failure. So let's say if I started wide and then after my set, when I drop set it, I'm going to go inner. So I'm putting all that blood back into it. And then in our following set, I'm going to start on close grip and then finish on wide. And then we got the uh, cable curl, or how I like to call them front double bicep curl. For this exercise, it's crucial to concentrate on the squeeze and contraction of that bicep. This is a good isolation for it. And to put the cherry on top, it helps you posing a little bit too. So we're going back to the barbell curls, but we're doing them reverse. So we're getting that forearm action in there too. And for the same thing, we are gonna be alternating our grips wide to close, just to work that whole forearm region. For me, I struggle on putting on mass on my outer forearms. I try to hit them any way I can. With that said, I'll be doing some uh, cable curls. But instead of using just a regular cable bar or whatnot, I'll be using a rope. Therefore, it simulates like the hammer curl. So I'll be engaging my biceps, of course, but also my forearms. I found a straight bar, and I simply just flex my forearm up and down, and I'm supporting it with my leg. So all that is moving is my wrist, and my forearm is just burning so much right now. If you want to increase the weight, you hold on to the very end of it, and of course you want to decrease it, you hold up 
just a little higher. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ryan and I just uh, wrecked it, Ralph, on some buys.